This is the M200 Intervention by shy -Tech. This is one of the top sniper rifles ever made. As a matter of fact, it was ranked number one for the best sniper rifle in the world by the Military Channel. This is a serious piece of hardware right here. Okay. So this rifle was first produced in the year 2001. It is chambered in 408 and 375. So the muzzle velocity is 3,000 feet per second. This thing is cruising when it's coming out of the barrel. The effective firing range is 2,500 meters or 2,700 yards. That's 27 football fields is its effective range. That's insane. This thing is pretty massive. It weighs 31 pounds without the scope. I mean, it's a robust, heavy rifle. Not great for carrying around everywhere, but if you're in a fixed position, you could seriously tattoo some stuff from distances of like a couple miles away. So this thing has a seven round magazine, which is great for follow-up shots. It also has an advanced ballistic computer, which you can punch in all your data, and it will actually tell you what to dial your scope at to hit your target, and it's pretty damn close. I don't have one, I'm not that advanced or sophisticated, but it's pretty cool that they make something like that. So we're gonna do all kinds of tests today. We're gonna see what kind of penetrating power this thing has. We're gonna compare it to a Macmillan TAC 50. We're gonna compare it to a 308, all different kinds of calibers see distance we're going to shoot some groups the furthest i could shoot is 800 yards which is almost a half mile and we're going to see what that thing could do there i'm going to shoot a group we're going to shoot some little targets with it this is going to be an exciting video so i used to look up youtube videos all the time and i'd punch in like top 10 sniper rifles in the world or top sniper rifles of 2020 every single time i did it every single one of them the m200 was the first or second on every single one this thing is truly a beast in 2021, a guy in Texas hit a target at three miles away, a 53 inch target, three miles with the shy tech This thing is insane. I'm telling you, it is very accurate. This thing also has the world record with best group, a 19 inch group at 2,100 yards. I mean a 19 inch group that's that big at 21 football fields away. That is insane. Also shot a 29 inch group, a little bit bigger, at 2,400 yards, which is insane. I mean, 24 football fields away. Where we're at right now, that's five football fields back to that mountain back there. That's 24 of them. Five times this distance, they hit a group this, uh, it's basically a, a body. That's Some of the things I added to this rifle is a seven by 35 power MOA Night Force Optic. This thing is great, super clear. You could get out to some distance with it. We also have a direct thread suppressor by, by Elite Iron. Great stuff. I have this on my McMillan Tech 50, all kinds of rifles. They make a really good silencer. So with a high-powered rifle like the 375 shy -Tech, what we want to show is what kind of penetrating power this thing has. So we have five different calibers today. We built this wood thing here with two by tens. And we're going to shoot it with five different calibers. We're going to see how many bullets to go through, how many of these. You can see how many we got down there. Once we go to the next caliber, we can switch these out and put new ones in it too to see how far they went back. So... So this will be the ultimate test for penetrating power. With five different calibers here, we have the 50 cal, which we're using a McMillan TAC 50, the 375 shy -Tech, which we're using the M200 Intervention, 338 Lapua Magnum, which we're using a McMillan TAC 338, 308 Winchester, we're using a Tika, and we're using a lever action from Midwest Industries with the 38. So the first rifle we're gonna do with our first test is this Rossi R92. 38 special or 357 magnum so is this thing a cowboy gun or is it more of a tactical weapon it's actually a little bit of both you see midwest industries partnered up with mad pig customs to create these rifles for their lever action stock series these things are pretty awesome so these things have all kinds of cool accessories starting with an adjustable polymer cheek piece you can adjust this for your cheek so it's a very comfortable shoot for you. They also have M-Lock handguards, which is an awesome feature to add to the weapon. It even has a Picatinny rail for any kind of optic or any kind of laser, anything you want to throw on it. So it also has a threaded barrel, which gives you an option to put a silencer on it or a different break, which makes it really cool. That way you don't blow your eardrums out when you're shooting. There's also an M-Lock shell holder for ammunition storage. How cool is that? So you could easily have super easy access Put it in there and rock it out. Yeah. So make sure you check out Midwest Industries. This place is pretty awesome. I just want to say for the record, I'm pretty sure that Well-Fed American has got a lot of stock in Mad Pig Customs.
Let's check it out. So here we are with the 38. We hit it down here. At 100 yards, I had a stupid little red dot. You know what I mean? I try to do the best I can. It went through number two here. And it is stuck in number three. So there it is. So it went through two and a half, and it's stuck in number three. So if you're between, behind two of these at 100 yards, a 38 round's still going to hit you. Now let's go to the 308. For the 308, we're getting a well-foot American involved in there. He's going to be shooting that. He's shooting a Tika. Tack two. Tack two. 308 Winchester. We got a Vortex scope on it. Woods down there. We're going to be doing it at 100 yards. Here we go. Okay, here we go. 308, 100 yards. We're going to see how many boards it goes through. I think he missed. I think he actually missed. It's a 308 right here. Started here. Went through board number two. Went through board number three. Went through board number four. Went through number five. Went through number six. Look at the back of that. And then it's a little piece of a hit number seven. So it stopped at board number seven. So it went through six boards. Let's see what the 338 Lapua can do. Next rifle we're using here is the McMillan TAC 338. This is a gun that Chris Kyle used when he took out that enemy sniper at over a mile. We're using PPU 338 ammo. It's got a lead iron suppressor on it. This thing's badass. So with the 338 Lapua, we hit it right here in the middle. It actually went through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the eighth one here, it came out the side and barely nicked it a little bit. So it stopped in the eighth one, went through seven, but it still went through more than a 308. So it went through seven. We're gonna try the 375 Shy Tech next and see what's, what's up with that. Now we're to the 375 Shytech M200 Intervention. Hit it right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's the axle wound. Eight. There's the exit. I don't know if you can see the exit. I do that too quick. And it made it through nine. It went all the way through this one on the side. Look at that. Ripped all the way through there. And then it barely touched this on the, and skipped off. Last but not least, we're using the McMillan TAC 50, 50 BMG. We're using a 750 grain Hornady. Longest shot kill in history. Right here, McMillan TAC 50. Let's see what it'll do. So with the 50, this is board number seven. That's the front of it. That's the back of it. And it's split it right in half, but wow, this thing's got some power, man. So this is the 10th board that the 50 went through. Look at that hole. Look at the back side of it. I mean, it actually split it in half, but still not equal to the 50 though, which ended up going through 11. So I really thought the shy tech was gonna at least do the same as the 50, if not more, but 50 still king. That thing's a beast. Let's keep that head down, Tex. Mooch got snipers too, you know. Snipers won't aim for your head. Man, they got this one sniper that can hit headshots from 500 yards out. The guy was talking about headshots at 500 yards. This guy's got talent. So I'm going to show you a headshot, see what this thing will do at 500 yards to a ballistic head. Out there is an enemy sniper. He's going to pop his head up. It's going to be the biggest mistake ever. I'm going to show him why. Thing I nicked him with that shot. Now we're gonna take his head off. He's sitting there like wounded in shock. And I hit him on the right, right? 
You actually might hit him in the skull on the right. Headshot, yeah. So with the shy tech we hit it a couple times. It did some damage. We cracked its skull, blew part of its head off. Nothing crazy, nothing like I thought. So we're gonna see what the 50 would do to it to finish it off. We'll see what kind of like destructive power the 50 would have over a skull. So we're getting ready to take this thing out. McMillan Tech 50, yeah. So I shot the head with the 375, did some damage, but I'm a little disappointed. So we're gonna see what the 50 would do to it. Well, it looks like a 750 grain bullet compared to a 350 grain bullet makes a big difference in a little more gunpowder because this head is gone. The shy tech went through it, it killed it. I mean, it blew it up, but it, man, this thing, look at, look at the pieces of this thing. It literally blew this head apart. Silence of the lambs kind of stuff. Caris. Very well fed. There's part of a skull left. Dude, that thing was brutal. I mean, it blew it apart. There's pieces all over the place. Look at my lake over here, frozen lake. There's pieces of it just laying on there. They're both awesome. They're both gonna get their job done. The shy Tech's probably gonna be a little bit more accurate and shoot further more accurate, but the 50, there's just nothing in comparison to it. I mean, a thousand yards or less, that 50's got massive stopping power. One thing about these two is that the 375 versus the 50, when you have a suppressor on the end of it, all the energy pushes straight back instead of out from a break. So it has a, a big difference in recoil. So I'm gonna show you the difference here. The 375 is way more comfortable to shoot than a McMillan Tech 50 with it. So both awesome guns, but a huge difference. I'm gonna show you. So here's the shy tech shooting. We got the McMillan Tech 50 with an elite iron suppressor on the end of it. Huge difference in recoil. Even well-fed Americans scared to death of shooting this thing. So the McMillan Tech 50 definitely won the penetration test with the 2x10s. But in this test... The M200 wins in a landslide. It is a, such a difference in recoil. It's not even funny. I'm even going to show you a clip right here why the well-fed American is so scared of doing this. He got kind of that wave effect going. <laughs> So Wellfoot American keeps smoking on my property and throwing all the cigarette butts everywhere, and I'm getting sick of it. I've warned him, now I'm going to be hiding from him. And I guarantee he's working over in this area. He's going to be smoking. I'm going to catch him, and I'm going to tune him up when I catch him. We're going to get him with an airsoft gun. Yeah. Oh, a 
told you no smokers throwing cigarettes on my property. <laughs> Punishments for smoking and throwing cigarette butts on my property is airsoft gun at close range. Ah! Everybody talks about the Shy Tech being able to take out an engine too as it's running, you know, going through the engine block. So at 500 yards here, we have a car running down there. First, we're going to shoot it with the 308 to see what it'll do to the engine. If it keeps running, then we're going to shoot it with the Shy Tech, the 375. If for some reason it doesn't stop it, then we're going to take it out with the 50. So we hit it with the 308. It's still running down there. We're going to hit it with the 375 now. So with the 308, we hit it, it kept running. It did change a little bit of noise and stuff. We definitely hit the engine. That shot right there, it took it out. It stopped it dead. The only thing that was running was like the windshield wiper motor or something was running after that, but the engine itself stopped. So at 500 yards, the 375 definitely stopped an engine. So we're at 800 yards here. We're gonna shoot a group. And then we're going to try and hit the Denty Moore can like he did in Shooter down there, 800 yards away. So at 800 yards, we shot a group, and we did pretty good. Here's four. I had one flyer from the beginning. That was user error. My bipod actually fell down when I was shooting a little bit. So these four shots are in the size of a fist at 800 yards. That's three and three quarters. Three and three quarters. So three and three quarter inch group at 800 yards with four bullets and then one flyer up there. There, which is still, you still would have hit a body size target, no problem, but the shy tech 375 yeah this gun became really famous with the movie and it is a great movie the movie shooter with mark Wahlberg. you remember this movie So in the movie, Mark Wahlberg shoots a little Denty Moore beef stew can. I think he's around a mile away and hits it. We can only go out to like a half mile. So we're going to try to hit one or a couple of them at a half mile. This is going to be pretty cool. Okay. So we're attempting to hit a Denty Moore can at 800 yards like Mark Wahlberg did in Shooter. 800 yards away. We got the drone down there. We got other cameras set up. Let's see if we can knock it out. We
Got it. Yeah. All right. Two Denty Moore cans in a row. 800 yards. Yeah. So Mark Wahlberg did it. We had to try it too. So I hit it a little low here. The front, it blew out the back. It didn't even blow the can apart because this bullet's traveling so fast. That's crazy. And then here's the second one in a row I hit at 800 yards. This one blew out a little bit more. I hit it low again and blew out the back. But we still hit it two in a row at 800 yards. Mark Wahlberg, you'd be proud of Columbia War Machine. Yeah. So we're at 800 yards here with the Shytec 375. We got a propane tank set up at 800 yards away. We're gonna shoot it, try to blow it up, kind of like I'm hitting an IED or something at 800 yards, almost a half mile. Got it. <laughs> yeah. oh, after going through all the tests of this video and a few other tests I've done, I'm 100% convinced the M200 is pound for pound one of the best sniper systems ever made. I mean, it has power. It doesn't have a ton of recoil. It's got accuracy. You got distance. You got a little bit of everything. It doesn't have quite the power of the 50, but the recoil is so much more smooth. Uh, you're going to get probably a little more accuracy, a little bit even more distance than what you would get like as far as accuracy is concerned. I love them both. I don't want to get rid of either of them. But I'm telling you, pound for pound, the M200, I am impressed. Big time. Okay. So my next video is going to be about the MG42, my favorite. This video is going to be called MG42 Madness. And I promise you, you will not be disappointed when this one comes out. Check out my other MG42 video, 8MG42's vs. Van. This one's going to be even better. So make sure you subscribe if you're not. In a couple weeks, this bad boy is going to be out. And I promise you, ballistic dummies, cars, all kinds of crazy stuff. Block walls, it's going to be a good one.